are you doing here? This is me. This is my song. What the fuck? This is my song. Yeah. What are you still doing here? <laughs> okay, we thought we'd go through a couple of the layers in Balloon because we were producing it for a long time and I completely forgot about half the stuff that's in there. There's actually some acoustic guitar in the second chorus. But you wouldn't have known that because I didn't know that either. Whoa. I was 14, Completely different age there as well. Yeah. It kind of gives me Coldplay vibes, you know? It's just kind of... Maybe, I mean, I've never heard Coldplay write a song that was happy, apart from that one with the monkeys. <laughs> We decided to record the chorus and make it sound really good so that people think this is the chorus. Here you go. There's actually a stupid amount of layers in here. I can't remember how many there are. So I thought we'd just go through it and show you all of the layers and see if you can hear them put together afterwards. Look, like a little game. Like a little game. Yeah. First and foremost, we've got the main guitar riff, which is the same bit as, I think, what's this bit? Same bit as in the intro. And I think this is the most dominant part of the chorus. That's what you hear when you listen to it. But there's actually another guitar line in there that kind of, in retrospect, it kind of muddies it up a bit, but it just adds a bit more texture. <laughs> Drums, I think, I forgot how many layers there are for the drums actually. We've got our own drum rack here, which we got built in Ableton. And then further down, there's another sample from Splice, which is. Too hard off. It's too hard to see. I got the sheets on the floor, loving on me. And I can take it no more, 100 degrees. So there's our drums. The bass changes from the chorus into the verse. It plays the same notes, but it's a different bass. So in the chorus, it's more of like a wet kind of attacky bass. Yeah. And as it goes into the verse, if you had that in the verse, it sounds, it kind of like takes over the vocals. So we changed it to more of like a muted a type bass. This is my bit. Mm. This is your bit to talk about. Yep. Hi, I'm Jamie Bland. Um, I'm the guy who actually um, made most of this song. Um, so could you help me? Oh yeah. <laughs> if you guys at home are wanting to make music, you need to get yourself a nice space bar, preferably a mechanical one. I guarantee you, every producer at some point in their life, every famous producer has used a space bar, and that's no mistake. It's that like, is no mistake. If you're gonna go like this, I'm gonna keep playing like that. You're wasting time, mate. It's just boom. You've done it. Right. We're, what does this bit track. sound like to you, James? This what bit... does it remind you of? Does it Someone... bring back part of your childhood? Maybe something you've seen on a beach. <laughs> Pretty colours. This bit is actually one of my favourite bits, and I think without this bit, it wouldn't be a platinum single. That's true. It's just. It's a fact. You know what? We could take everything else out of the song and just leave that in there. And I'm sure that it would be just as successful as it's currently been. Right. Uh, so I want to talk about the um, the uh, lyrics. I wrote the lyrics about this girl called... I was just sitting there. It was my birthday. Instead of a balloon. I thought, well, damn, if I wrote a song about this... Yeah. It's the key to success is writing a relatable song. And you yeah. know, everyone has like seen a balloon. It's not everyone, about... not everyone's experienced love, but there's loads of love songs, right? Yeah. So you read between the lines and thought what people really want is a song about balloons. It's... Something that they've seen, something that they've held, something tangible, you know? This bit... I feel like we're getting a bit off track here. We are. So if you think, balloon, everything's great, everything's great, everything's great. Oh, let go of the balloon. Back to the bottom again. I imagine, you know, every parent goes to that moment where their child does that thing where they stop flinging food across the room when they've been doing it for years. And that's, that's the kind of pride I felt when we did this song. Because instead of being a mess, it's just, it's just right, you know? The food, yeah. the, the song stays in the bowl. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm moving on I want to better now But part of me still wishes that we were together now I've, I think I've used the sonar in pretty much every single song I've ever done Oh yeah <laughs> Um, uh, um, uh, balloons. I don't really know what to talk about, but, um... Talking to them or talking to me? To anyone. To anyone. Anyone, that anyone who's listening. Actually, saying that, it sounds like ice cream van. It does actually sound a bit like an ice cream van. Yeah, I was 16. Was that it? That was it. That's the only thing. <laughs> just I mean, just... Hell to die. We also need to redo some of the old footage. Do we? Yeah. 